we're hoping with this setup here is to be able to uh, detect the driver intentions. Across the world, researchers are developing and testing smart features for vehicles, and automakers are beginning to manufacture cars and trucks with software and devices that already offer an amazing array of features, and for good reason. More than 1.2 million people die each year in car crashes worldwide, including roughly 35,000 fatalities on U.S. roads. Right now, um, our main focus is safety. So we're we are looking at um, how can we build vehicles that see the environment and react in, in a smart way. The issue for us is to uh, really protect not only the people inside the vehicle, but also everybody on the road. Urban traffic congestion cost the U.S. $78 billion in 2009 when commuters spent 4.2 billion hours on congested roadways. We're trying to understand um, how intelligent vehicles change driving behavior and how that can lead to different traffic flows and preferably less congestion. Nearly 3 billion gallons of fuel are wasted on congested U.S. roads each year, accounting for 22 percent of carbon dioxide released into the atmosphere. What we're really focused on is the environment. So we look a lot at fuel economy savings and emissions, lowering emissions as best as we can through different ITS strategies. What we're trying to do here is basically look at how the driver interacts with the vehicle itself, with other vehicles as well as the infrastructure. The car itself is a, is, a, is a good sensor regarding many things, regarding its speed, its acceleration, deceleration, and if we are able to, uh, to sense the environment, we have a lot of information. I think there is a very special relationship that humans have with vehicles. Instead of making cars robots, which are totally autonomous, how about making cars smart assistants for the drivers? In other words, systems that support rather than replace the driver. Professor Mohan Trivedi leads UC San Diego's Laboratory for Intelligent and Safe Automobiles. International automakers, including the makers of Mercedes, Nissan, Volkswagen, and Audi vehicles, have helped sponsor much of the research. We've been following this vision that we have, which we call the vision of accident-free driving, for quite a long time. In order to do that, we have to sense what's going around in the environment of the vehicle, and that requires a lot of sensor capabilities, and that's much of the technology that we've been seeing introduced to vehicles over the past few years. When you install a TV camera, uh, TV camera can monitor driver's conditions. Also, if you use a TV camera is uh, uh, mounted outside the cars, and then you know that uh, uh, sensor can uh, monitor the pedestrians and other stuff, or even uh, recognize uh, uh, traffic signals and other environment. It didn't take too long for automakers to begin implementing early versions of driver assistance systems on their newest models, and the new technologies are becoming selling points. The all-new Focus with class-exclusive Active Park Assist. We are now finding out that it is important not only to just monitor whether the driver's hands are on the wheel and the eyes are on the road or not, but what is the state of the driver's uh, mind? 100 milliseconds isn't much in terms of ticks of a clock. Uh, delaying your stop by 10 feet is the difference potentially between you know, safely braking and, and hitting the car in front of you. Professor Kazuya Takeda works in the field of acoustics, speech, and signal processing, and in particular on how to improve the accuracy of speech recognition inside a vehicle environment. Speech while driving highly correlated to the driving behavior itself. Therefore, we started a uh, big project to collect uh, such data for a long time. And now we are focusing on the other modality like uh, driving maneuver signals or environmental signals or sensor signals. The Department of Transportation is working with industry and academic researchers to develop what they call IntelliDrive, a five-year effort launched in 2009. IntelliDrive is the, um, it's really looking at the goal of if you have communications between vehicles and the infrastructure, 
Um, can you provide applications that improve safety, mobility, and sustainability? California, as a state, is going to play a critical role going forward in the growth of intelligent vehicles. California was not traditionally a big player in the automotive industry, which may explain why the IEEE Intelligent Vehicle Symposium never took place in California until 2010. The symposium, hosted at UC San Diego, was also the first time in five years that the event was held anywhere in the United States. Software on vehicles is forever increasing, which um, requires us to have a new set of, of skills to understand what kind of benefits can you get from these technologies, what kind of problems do they cause. And it requires us to have a much larger cadre of electrical software engineers. California has also led the nation in efforts to curb gas guzzling and pollution, which has spawned a new industry focused on eco-friendly intelligent vehicles. For years, research into intelligent vehicles focused on the promise of autonomous vehicles, machines that could operate and navigate themselves. At the University of Parma in Italy, Professor Alberto Brogi has been building driverless cars for more than 15 years. Brogi created a challenge of his own, a 13,000 kilometer, that's 8,000 mile, driverless car trip from Rome all the way to Shanghai. Four electric vans made by Italy's Piaggio made the trip. I'm not sure when, but I'm sure that in few years, uh, maybe 20, 50, 100, I don't know, but someday vehicles will be unmanned. I mean, there's no reason why it shouldn't be this way. Alberto Brogi will play an important role at the IEEE Intelligent Vehicles Symposium in Germany as the 2011 president of the IEEE Intelligent Transportation System Society. Christoph Stiller is the general chair of the 2011 conference. There'll be several workshops um, and, and themes on the conference all oriented around safety, eco-friendliness, and uh, maybe, as a, as a third topic, collaborative driving. The trend, systems that help rather than replacing the driver.